Hey guys, this week's question comes from a viewer who wants to know how to make his group sound more gritty, more rock and roll, put more punctuation and power into the sound and the style of the music. All right, well, let's start by talking about arranging. Grittiness is gonna come from timbre more than anything else. So you wanna introduce that through your syllables, through your vowel sounds. As far as vowel sounds are concerned, rather than really pure vowels, ah, you wanna put more ah, get loud. Use consonants and, and other sounds that introduce white noise and punctuation to otherwise resonant harmonies. Don't worry as much about precision. Focus more on putting some, uh, some little stank on it. After timbre, look at the rhythm, polyrhythmic textures, a lot of complexity in there that gives you more of a chance to use those punctuating, ch -ch -ch, those different sounds, and, and weaving vocal percussion almost into the different background uh, syllables using T's and K's and things like that can, can uh, put more of an edge and a harshness into the background part. When it comes to pitches, be careful about using people in too high a part of their voice. So you wanna make sure your women don't go up into their head voice because they're gonna to start to sound choral. You want that, you want them more in their chest and, and be pushing people up higher and higher toward their break where you really want people up there in their voice, where there's there's a sense of urgency and a sense of power. That ends up uh, driving a lot of what, what makes vocal rock bands sound rock and roll. Dynamics are huge. Use sforzandos, you know, punctuate with, with loud passage and then pull way back. Uh, an element of surprise and, and inconsistency is something also that'll bring people to the edge of their seat rather than let them kind of sit back and relax. And more than anything else, imperfection. You don't want things to be too precise. This is gonna be really hard for you guys who are college groups, high school groups, young professionals where you're tuning every rhythm and you're lining, or, tuning every rhythm, where you're tuning every chord and you're lining up every rhythm. You want everything to be exactly precise and so clean, but that's not rock and roll. Go back and listen to rock and roll. The, the, the whole point of, of uh, the whole point when you're hearing an overdriven amp, when you're hearing feedback that introduced into the music, that grittiness was intentional, but it was a byproduct of imprecision and passion overriding purity. That's what you want. You want things to be off kilter. You want things to be a little messy, not cropped exactly right. You see where I'm going with this? Use that, use that imprecision. That'll, that'll set your viewers a little bit on edge. It'll make your music stand apart from all this perfectly polished music nowadays. And uh, don't be afraid to yell. Don't be afraid to, to uh, <laughs> be a little bit punk and rock and roll and, and, uh, and have things be off kilter, all right? Hopefully this is useful to you. <laughs> rock and roll, rock and roll, 